band the very, very first time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> the music actually Hello. worked the way it was supposed to, when it was wow. supposed to. <laughs> We're alive again. See what happens when you pay your bills one time? Wow. <laughs> Wise old bastards, so we're here live right now at this moment in time. But you'll we're, get this recorded, so. So, yeah. <laughs> Probably so next we're week. Actually, we're not live. Yeah, how's it Here we are. Even? Oh, my pulse is here. <laughs> live, not live. I mean, look at look at, look at how white and ghostly I am, man. I look like I died yeah, you are, three days ago. Yeah, you look like you're embalmed <laughs> with beer and whiskey. <laughs> well, if you're going to get embalmed. On. There here's, you go. Here's today's oh, what the hell? sponsor. What the hell is that? Joker Joker's, beer? Joker's Kolsch. I like Kolsch. Kolsch is like yeah. a nice, light, easy drinking but, beer. It's a baby beer. But right? that's kind of a really crazy ass can Joker thingy. Yeah. I well, mean, it's beer for babies, so you put colorful stuff on it, right? Uh, oh, that's scary. Yeah. When you look at I know it, that's shit. a scary thing, man. It looks like. Hey, yeah. I mean, that's, oh, yeah. that's an unusual marketing ploy. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it. really, it's kind of strange, man. Didn't didn't work I'm, that one. Yeah, I'm I'm still with coffee here in Laos, so. Um, but I'm sure we'll have a beer later when Vang Vien. We're heading to Vang Vien. What's Vang Vien? Vang Vien is a nice town on the way to Luang Prabang, and it's beautiful. It's got, if you remember Ipo in um, Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia, Ipo has all that kind of uh, cliffy, um, stony, things. limestone, limestone. Yeah. Yeah. Hills, same thing with Van Vien. Lots of limestone hills. Very beautiful. Nice. Uh, really nice place. And guess what? They actually Here. got a highway. Oh. They have a highway. They have a highway. All the way from where you are now? Right. And they built the highway. The Chinese built it, actually. It's not the best highway, okay? Chinese are pretty stingy, so that it's a bit narrow. The It's not as straight as it should be. <laughs> it's like China, roads in China are better than the one they build in Laos, put it that way. <laughs> But you know, uh, it is a highway. They did not have one before. They still have the old road that goes around and pitfalls and probably only half paved and shit. But uh, now this one's a proper highway has two, four lanes. It's just four lanes. It's some part. Maybe I can't remember. Six lanes or four lanes. I'm pretty sure it's four. But yeah. Yeah, this is a hell of a lot better than it used to be anyway. And they charge you a lot. <laughs> oh, it's a this toll place, road. Uh, not just that. You know, they don't just say, okay, here's your toll ticket. And they weigh your truck or weigh your car. They have a your weigh car scale. Even? At, yes. They have a weigh scale at every entry of the toll booth. And it registers how much you weigh. And then they charge you on weight, on kilograms. So, so if so you f- eat too much, you're going to pay more. <laughs> so fat foreigners pay more money. <laughs> That's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that in the world where they have an actual weigh scale right before the toll booth. So you go in, yeah. you get weighed, and then you go in, and then they charge the toll. That's strange, man. And it's That's not cheap here. It's not cheap. Actually, for, for Laos, which things mostly are cheap, that's not that cheap to go on that road. So a lot of people avoid the road. So it's actually not as used as it should be because I think people don't well, want to pay so much. Yeah, I mean, look, we're t- today we're going to talk a bit about infrastructure and roads and things. It, it sounds boring, but it's not. It's actually mm-hmm. there's depends how we present it to you, but there's a lot. There's a lot going on. It's interesting. Like yep. in I'm Malaysia, take- when they brought in uh, all the toll roads, right? Yeah, yeah. Twenty, thirty years ago, whatever they started doing the public-private mm-hmm. partnerships. Yeah, so yeah. In theory, it's a great way to to get things done, right? It doesn't. Mm-hmm. It's not a taxpayer issue. The people yeah. who use the road pay for the road. It, it, yeah. It's, on paper, it's a good deal. It doesn't yeah. always work that way, but it, it spawns some very interesting things, right? So one of the things you always would see are people who are trying so hard to find a way to get to where they're going without having to go on that toll road. And for the and for the most part, it's just because you hate the idea of paying some fucker for the toll road. And by avoiding the toll road, it most of the time ends up costing you more. Because it takes mm. so much longer, so much time, so much everything yeah. else. True. But remember, in the, that's true. Like in like in Indonesia, when they all the oh. the uh, the what they did for the uh, the toll roads, yeah. they started having the uh, high occupancy HOV. Right, so you have to oh, have okay. at least two people or three people, or else you pay more. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. And remember, yeah, yeah. remember the, the the fine <laughs> the fine for having less than three people or something was X number of dollars. Yeah. It was cheaper. There were there were thousands of guys who would stand at the entrance yeah. to all the toll roads. Yep. 
and you could pay them less than the fine to come and sit in your car <laughs> so that you drive. would actually have your exactly. HOV. And then take the, get some way, pay up, go the weather way. Yeah, 